In this video, we'll provide an overview of some different recording tools available for checkout at Media Services, plus share some basic tips and techniques to enhance the sound quality of your next project. Whether you're recording a voiceover, musical performance, or setting up an interview, we'll examine some different methods to help you achieve sonic success. For many recording applications, using a USB microphone such as the Blue Yeti can deliver high quality results with the benefit of having a built-in preamp and audio interface in one device. Let's look at some of the key features and adjustable settings to help get you started. This microphone uses a three-capsule, multi-pattern array system to support different recording applications. These capsules convert sound waves into mic signals, which are then amplified by the onboard preamp for digital recording. The selectable pattern allows users to optimize the dynamic range of your recording. These modes include cardioid. Cardioid mode picks up sound directly in front of the mic only. This setting can be ideal for solo narration and vocal performance as it helps to reduce excess noise from the back and sides of the microphone. Stereo. Stereo mode engages the left and right channels for wider sound pickup. This mode is useful for capturing a realistic sound image of musical performances. Omnidirectional. Omnidirectional mode engages the full range of the microphone array system, picking up sound equally from all directions. Use this mode for capturing the live sound of a band, multi-person conference call, or podcast. And bidirectional. Bidirectional mode picks up sound in the front and rear of the microphone. This mode is ideal for achieving a more focused sound from two-person interviews or duet vocal performances. To set up your recording session, connect the included mini USB to USB cable into your computer and open your recording software of choice. For basic voice recording, select a mono track and ensure your USB microphone is selected as both your input and output device in your editing software. To test your input levels before recording, click on the microphone icon and select Start Monitoring. We recommend speaking about 6 to 8 inches away from the microphone placed in the upright position. To ensure a healthy signal range, keep your meter levels averaging above minus 18 dB and peaking no harder than 6 dB. For direct monitoring, connect a pair of headphones to the 3.5 mm input jack. Remember to keep the headphone volume down counterclockwise, slowly raising to a comfortable listening level. Raising the gain knob will increase the clarity of your voice, while lowering the gain knob will avoid input distortion and excess background noise. Using a portable recorder like the Zoom H1N can be a useful tool for capturing professional quality audio on the go. Let's look at some key features that make this a versatile recording tool for field work, live music, traveling podcasts, and more. The compact size and built-in stereo mics allow users to record anywhere direct to a micro SD card without the need for a computer setup. Like the Blue Yeti, there's also a headphone out for monitoring your recordings and quick playback. Here are some helpful onboard settings to optimize the quality of your recording. Selecting a WAV file format will produce high quality results for most applications. Use the low cut filter to reduce excess noise introduced by wind. The limiter prevents input clipping from sudden loud noises, while auto level disables the manual input gain to automatically even out sound levels while recording. For example, this is useful for balancing fluctuations of speech and environmental noise during a field recording. If you're recording a two-person interview and need two lavalier mics, use the included stereo breakout cable into the single mic input. This method allows you to split the stereo output from the Zoom H1N into separate left and right channels in post-production. For example, if one interviewee speaks lower than the other, the two voices can be raised or lowered independently during the editing process to achieve a more even volume balance in the final mix. When finished recording and ready to export, connect the H1N to your computer with the micro USB cable. Press the down arrow to select the card reader option, then press the record button to access your files. Lastly, if you're looking to create studio level quality recordings for voice or musical production, we also offer a dedicated audio interface along with a cardioid condenser microphone. An interface like the Scarlett 2i2 
connects to a laptop or tablet via USB, giving users the flexibility to record more than one audio input at a time. For example, you can record vocals with an XLR microphone, plus use the second line and instrument input for recording an electric guitar or keyboard. Start by plugging the XLR cable into the first mic input on the interface. If using a cardioid microphone, press the 48 volt button to enable operation with phantom power. Use the second XLR quarter inch combo input to connect an electric instrument. In your editing software, select a stereo track to record vocals and guitar at the same time into separate left and right channels. When finished recording, you can then isolate each channel by selecting the stereo to mono option. From here you can now edit each individual track to create a final mix ready to export. The onboard mic preamps are useful to enhance the sound of voice, guitar, or high impedance instruments. The air button provides mid-high frequency presence boost for vocals or acoustic instruments, while the instrument button optimizes the input headroom for electric guitar or bass instruments. The gain halo feature also helps with finding the right input settings for your voice or instrument to produce audio clipping. Raise the preamp gain until the light consistently turns green for a healthy signal level. While recording, the gain halo should mostly stay in the green, with some occasional amber light to indicate pre-clipping. Lower the gain knob to the left if you see a red halo appear to avoid excess clipping. Using a pop filter helps reduce vocal plosives, which can also cause microphone input distortion. This audio interface also offers headphone monitoring for precise listening and quality control. Thanks for exploring some different recording options available for your next creative project. If you have any questions about the equipment featured in the video, please visit our Sixth Floor Media Services service desk. Contact us at mediaservices at tulane.edu. Thank you.